What's up, everyone? It is Thursday, November 21st, one week to Thanksgiving. We're here in the heart of Times Square, Broadway.com. I'm Paul Wontorek. And I'm Beth Stevens. And we're joined, as always, by Caitlin Moynihan. Hello. Hello. <laughs> um, hey, Beth. Yes. There's this play on yes. Broadway I'm a little obsessed with. Really? <laughs> we more. saw it in London. We fell in love with it. We still love it. It's The Inheritance. Yes. And we have two of the fantastic. There's, is, there's, the whole cast is like so fantastic. Top tier. Yes. Uh, we have Arturo Luis Soria and Daryl Jean Daughtry Jr. Junior. Yes. Ooh. We're going to find out all about this new Broadway two part epic. But first, today's top five. We found out who is going to be bringing Michael Jackson's story to life on stage on Broadway. We've been wondering who would play the King of Pop on the Broadway. We have an answer. Ephraim Sykes, the Tony nominated nice. star of Ain't Too Proud, who can dance and sing. Oh man, he's got the moves. He's got everything. <laughs> he's got this, this music and everything. He's going to be the star of MJ. 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 Okay. This begins previews on July 6th. It opens on August 13th at the Neil Simon Theater. Ephraim Sykes is the man. Cool. And we got a fun exclusive for you guys about what's happening in the band's visit national tour. So what's happening <laughs> is that yes. there's a Dina switch up. Uh, that's Dina, right? That's her name, Dina. Dina. Shalina Kennedy uh, launched the national tour, the band's visit, which is a big hit on the road. And now we found out Janet DeCal is taking over the role in Schenectady. I just like that. That's nice. Like that was good. I like to do the CH, the yeah, SCH. Yeah, you did it full on. Uh, I love it. A lot of things happen in Schenectady with national tours. Anyway, she will join on January 3rd, 2020. Um, she was recently seen in Prince of Broadway. Of course, she was in the original cast of In the, the Heights, Heights of which course. we're obsessed with. No me diga. Uh, anyway, Sasson Gabe is still on the tour, and it has a bunch of stops still coming all next year. But here's the really cool thing: we had um, we knew about this because Probably. we had we had Janet DeCall standing right here, and she mm -hmm. sang her amazing Omar uh, Sharif. Omar Sharif, her yeah. amazing song for ClubBroadway.com. So you can get a taste of how fantastic. She will be, and her hair looks so good. Janet, you, so look, good. you look fantastic. So check that video out, everybody. Mm -hmm. This popular off-Broadway show has extended for the fourth and final time. We're talking about For Color Girls at the Public Theater. Say the full title, please. For Color Girls Who Have Considered Suicide. Did I say it wrong? Yeah. No, we're good. No. The rainbow is enough. Yeah, and you F. I didn't even have to look down for that. Thank Nailed you. it. Jackie Shange, I saw it. It's fabulous. It's a wonderful production. It will now run through December 15th. Uh huh. See it? Did you see it yet? You, you know, gotta well, see it. starring Jamie Lawson, who was Sorry, here. Who, Jamie by Lawson. the way, one of our guests today knows knows her. We're oh. gonna we're gonna get oh. to that. Yes. Well, information. And the diner has set a closing date across the pond. Uh, you're referring to waitress. I am. Um, yeah, so Waitress is closing here in January. When is it closing? January 5th. Okay, um, yeah, Ryan's not here because he has like a candle burning <laughs> until January 5th. A little pie candle. Uh, and it's been playing in London uh, for, what, it's about a year, right? And it's now going to close July 4th. This is really early news, Beth. But it gives you time to book your tickets. Next ticket. July, <laughs> Waitress is closing in the West End. And they'll go on, they're going to go on tour, and then they said they're going to come back to the West End. How fascinating. Sure. Who um, yeah, so it currently stars Lucy Jones as Jenna, and of course, Sarah Bareilles and Gavin Creel, Broadway's Sarah Bareilles and Gavin Creel, Tony will be winner, joining Gavin the production Creel. in London January 27th. Exciting. Um, and yeah, it closes on Broadway January 5th. So, but you, you still have, you can go to London and see it until summer, and then it'll come back someday. It'll probably come back to Broadway, too. A Christmas Carol opened on Broadway last night, and another version is coming to the New York stage, too. It's, it's, it's a holiday time. It's Christmas time in the city. Sure. I'm going to keep saying things like that. We have the Rockettes it's the most here wonderful yesterday. Time of That's the how year. you know. When the Rockettes show up in sequins, it's Christmas time. It's Christmas time, <laughs> whether it's snowing and it's, or and they 90 They always have a great degrees. security guard with them, too. It's yeah. fantastic. They have to be secure. Anyway, Patrick Stewart, who has a wonderful voice, is doing his one-man Christmas carol for two nights off-Broadway. Now, this is a benefit. Originally, it was on Broadway. It was on Broadway. In 1991, 1992, oh. 1994, and 2001. Wait, is that many times? In the Apparently. morning meeting, I said to Beth, I said, was that on Broadway once or twice? I was like, five times? A lot. Five a times. lot. And he won a drama desk for outstanding solo performance for one of those times. Anyway, uh, it will benefit City Harvest and Ars Nova. And it's just Patrick Stewart and his sonorous voice 
doing all of the Dickens characters. He haunts himself. It's amazing. So that will happen on December 11th and December 13th. And don't forget, yesterday we mentioned that Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol is also happening. That's important to bring so up. Look that. <laughs> It's always yes, important. yes. Uh, also on the site, I interviewed Jonathan Groff. You're so lucky. Everybody loves Jonathan Groff. Yeah. He was so on wonderful. Show People, and we talked about everything. Little Shop of Horrors, <laughs> Frozen 2, Spitting on Stage, all the important topics. What? Uh, what else is on the site? Catherine Gallagher's yes. blog, Jagged Little Thrill. Uh-huh. And she's she, in which show? She, she's in a show that's similar to that. She <laughs> sang for us. She answered your questions, and so did the whole cast. It's definitely worth checking out and we have a lot of coverage from last night's christmas carol opening and frozen 2 adina and kristen they, they and, did their thing and groff they were all on james corden correct yeah and all they right, did let's one of the crosswalk they do their little crosswalk musical thing that right. they do okay cool. it sounds that dangerous that all sounds very dangerous uh look both ways and also i want to shout out to our production manager ryan carmichael oh, yes who's on Jeopardy tonight, he was on, he went there a couple months ago. He said nothing, nothing. to us. I don't know what he signed. I didn't know until five nothing. minutes ago he was going to be on Jeopardy. <laughs> well, we all knew. We, we talked to him more than you do. But <laughs> watch Jeopardy and root for Ryan Carmichael. That's yes. amazing. Did and he maybe, win? Well, we don't know he, if he, he won. Won't tell us, he won't we don't tell us. He won't tell us anything. Is he a millionaire? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> he came back to work. He, he came back to work, a million yeah. on Jeopardy? I, I don't I even know. I think so, eventually, if he's down. Anyway. Okay. Thank you, Beth. Thank you. Hey, Caitlin, yes. tell everyone about today's guests. Yes, well, gladly. Guys, we have Arturo Luis Soria and Daryl Jean Daughtry Jr. here with us in the studio because they are currently appearing in Matthew Lopez's epic two-part play, The Inheritance. It was in London and the West End, and now it's on Broadway. Uh, this marks both of theirs. Broadway debuts. How amazing is that? So DJ Daryl goes by DJ to his close friends. He told me I could call him that, so that's nice. Uh, he was just graduated from Juilliard from Group 48, and Arturo has done a lot of stuff. He's been on stage a bunch. He's written some things. He's gotten some fancy schmancy awards. It's amazing. We're gonna talk to him all about that. Make sure you follow them at Arturo Luis Soria and at Daryl Jean Jr. on Instagram. Leave all of your questions in the comments below, and please welcome Arturo, Daryl, and Paul. Thank you, Caitlin. Yay, Hi, gentlemen. Hello, hello, How you hello. doing? Been doing great. Good. I just saw you a few nights ago, your opening night. You were dressed, everyone was dressed. Oh my God, that cast. The fashion, word, word, the word. opening night fashion was a yeah, lot. Yes. I loved it. Mm -hmm. We had to bring it, you know? You had to bring it. Yeah. And Broadway debuts, as Kayla yes. mentioned. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to be on Broadway? Does it feel different? Does anything feel different? I just cannot believe where I was eight months ago. Which no. is where? In class. At, at, Julia. Sure. at school. Same with yeah. you. Yeah, I was YouTube, in school. By the way, yeah. can we talk fancy uh, Yale and Juilliard? Bye. Uh, well, I mean, you that's, know, some, you know. that's some fancy <laughs> school. <laughs> and we both just graduated. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the inheritance is funny because I every time I say the word epic when I'm describing the inheritance, I also, I, I kind of always want to like stop myself from using that word mm. because it is epic in scope. Mm -hmm. And it is a two-part play, and the, the total running time is seven-ish hours. It mm -hmm. doesn't feel anything like that. Sometimes mm -hmm. it kind of feels like 70 minutes yeah. in a lot of ways. Yeah. Uh, so I feel like when you attach like the word epic, it sounds daunting in some ways, which mm -hmm. I don't feel like the inheritance is at all. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you agree with that assessment? But I guess it is epic because it's a very big, big play. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I feel like... I, I hear what you're saying about it. Like, epic sounds like, oh my God, we're doing a Greek you tragedy. You've got to like, study before you come. <laughs> yeah, mythology and Zeus comes yeah. crashing. Oh, at the end. yes. No, it, me I mean, it doesn't, it does, it's not like that. I mean, for us, even, you know, sometimes you like, I remember reading and be like, oh my God, this is a huge play. And then mm -hmm. it's just like, oh my God, I couldn't stop. You couldn't stop. Couldn't stop yes. reading. And yes. it was like, okay, Arturo, you got to stop. You got to go like eat, you know, or yeah. you got to do something. <laughs> but it, I mean, that's what it feels like even performing is like, mm -hmm. you know, it's broken down into like hour long chunks and we're doing it. And all of a sudden we're at the end of an act. I'm like, whoa, where did the rest of the play go? And it's like <laughs> over, you know? Yeah. So, I think also in a way, kind of like a magnifying lens, like something that's just an inch wide on the table doesn't look that you know, crazy, mm -hmm. but when you mm -hmm. magnify into it, you see the detail in it, and yeah. I think that's what the play does so well, is that it zooms in on just the human, the basic person-to-person -person human experience, yeah. and within that, it is epic. 
Yeah. Um, but for sure, it's it's a funny, fun show that yeah. allows yeah. us to like just be goofballs yeah. on stage and you know have you know a blast but tell an important story. Yeah. yeah. So this play was a huge hit in London. Mm -hmm. It won the Olivier. Yes. Yeah. Uh, not that long ago, and so everybody wanted to be in it. Mm -hmm. and obviously, you guys were not in it in London. Nope. No. Uh, no. Some of the cast members from London are in it, um, but everybody auditioned for this. <laughs> so I'm sure you both were like, I want to get in there. Right? Was Absolutely. This, this, was like, this was a hot show to get yeah. into. Yeah. You what, were your, what were your auditions like? Was it a, was it a long process? Well, or? it was, in, for me, it was interesting because I had uh, a dear friend of mine who was also going out for the same part. Okay. And this was before I got the notice to audition. Mm -hmm. And he brought the sides to me. And I was reading, I was reading it, and I was like, bro, like, that's me. Like, that's me. <laughs> like, you came to the right person to help right. you with this part. And I'm like, I'm going to help you book this. You know, I love him to death. <laughs> I end up getting the wow. audition, and then it was like, wow, this is insane. Wow, so yeah. it was, it was. I mean, that was my story, which was like, as soon as I read the sides, I was like, this, Jason number two, Jason number one, one. young man number two. Okay. I'm Jason. Well, let's talk about this. Yeah, so you're, you're, it's 2812. Yeah. Right? You're young man mm -hmm. two, mm -hmm. is that right? Young oh, yeah. man two. You're young man eight. Yeah. Because then it starts, yes. it starts with a bunch of just young men on stage, and they yeah. start telling the story, and everyone takes on roles. And then you're Jason one and Jason two. Jason yeah. two, yeah. And Jason, the Jasons are a couple. Yes. Which is Married. hilarious. Yes. Do you know any couples with the same name? No. It's super mm. awkward. It is. It's, it is. <laughs> it's quite funny. They would hate me. I had my sister's name is Deanna. One of my close cousins' name is Deanna. And when she would come to visit in Pittsburgh, I would always, I mean, I was like four. But yeah. I, would, I would do it today. Let me stop. Yeah. Like, I would just yell up the stairs and be like, Deanna. And they'd be like, what? And I just laugh. I just laugh. Just for fun. Just for fun. Just for fun, absolutely. Yeah. And your the, audition. Um, my audition, yeah, I mean, it was, I mean, similar. It's like, it came to me, and then I read it, and I went in for a different part, actually, oh. and then I did that audition, and then they called me back, they're like, okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> you need to read Jason number two, and I read it, and I was like, I know how to do this, yeah. this is, I, I got yeah. this, you know, and then I just went in there, like, my, my entire mindset with it was go in there and have fun, and just play, 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 mm -hmm. our final callback, which is something I haven't done for a theater show in a yeah, while, was yeah. they brought us all in by group so like we had two groups and you know they brought us into a group and they had us all in the room at the same time mm -hmm. and we did like one how of, many people i mean it was all of them young like men nine like nine and nine. Oh, like, like a full yeah. like a full, a cast full kind group. Of. yeah it was okay. like a full ensemble and they and we did one of the ensemble scenes oh, and they were oh. and it was really funny because steven and, and justin were both um okay so we're gonna we don't know what's gonna happen we have no plan we're just gonna do get up this. on our feet get up on our feet so you sit there and you sit there you sit there and they start to direct us and oh they were like oh and walk over and take this thing off of him and then i want you all in the back of the theater doing this right and it was intricate scenes yeah. and that was our audition was literally yeah. seeing how we all sort of worked together yeah. and did you two together. audition together yeah, so for, product, that, yeah. for that moment mm -hmm. you actually yeah. did the, the, the yeah. jason stuff together yeah, yeah. oh cool yeah 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 yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Do you do you feel like I, what I love about a lot of these characters? It feels like um, I'm really kind of seeing you up there. Like it feels mm -hmm. like you guys can really sort of insert your personality into some of these roles. Do, does it feel that way? And were you encouraged to do that during the? Because it's very different than mm -hmm. even the company I saw in London. You know, it's mm -hmm. very interesting to mm -hmm. see a totally different group of ensemble actors do it. Yeah, there's certain things, and you can speak to a lot more about this than I can. But there's certain things that even Matthew put in for us that was mm -hmm. like, oh, Matthew Lopez, that, Matthew super Lopez, talented oh, yeah. nice. like there's certain things that he was like, oh, that's perfect. Like the way you said that is like that's. That you tap the yeah. essence of who this character mm -hmm. is. Like I, I'm a huge Star Wars nerd. Yes. We both are. No, we no, no. This are. one takes the cake. I do. The cake. And he, it, there's a Star Wars joke in it. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. That wasn't in there before. That I'm like, he's, he. It's kind of been like a, a symbiotic relationship. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. you, I'll offer something. Matthew will be like, that's great. Let me do my Matthew yeah. on it, make it perfect, and then let's put it in. Yeah, yeah you have a lot of funny, yeah. funny mm -hmm. laughs yeah. as Jason too. Yeah, and so like Matthew was really, really, really generous in allowing me to like bring Spanish to the play and yeah. mm -hmm. to inc include that into it. And so it was really like, I mean, it. I have, I mean, I have fun doing, I have so much fun doing it. And like that, that moment where they even have salsa music, they were uh -huh. like, okay, so we're gonna do this. Uh -huh. And I was like, yes, let me. <laughs> Let Let's me go. live in it. So they were really, really <laughs> generous with me, allow, you know, um, informing the character and bringing myself to it. So that was really exciting. And I mean, like, yeah, all the Spanish and all that, that was really... I actually yeah. knew you before because I saw that hit the wall. Yeah. That, well, how many years ago was that? That was in 2013. Okay, so you, and that, you started that in Chicago? I did. I was in the original cast. Yeah. It was a, 
such a cool play about Stonewall. Yeah. But it was like in it was like you were, we were all it was like in the round that, that space you in Barrel Street, right? Yeah. So it was we were all sort of on the street with you guys. And, yeah. And you played who? I played Tano Rodriguez, mm. Hope de la Cruz. Amazing. It's the whole name. Very memorable. Yeah. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. And that was I mean, I, it feels really like I mean, it feels really you know, like serendipitous that my first show in New York was Hit the Wall and yeah. it was about Stonewall and then my first show on Broadway is this and mm -hmm. it's about, you know, it's about continuing the legacy and the history of, yeah. you know, like, just like the queer community and, you know, so it feels really like, mm -hmm. you know, surreal to be a part of these two yeah. big shows yeah, and to get to like bring Spanish to both of them, you know, uh -huh. and get to like put all that Spanish and in, into it and, you know, yeah, get to live in it. It's beautiful. This play speaks to me so deeply the inheritance it's mm. so it's so beautiful to me and i i feel like it's it's speaking to a very different um generation of gay men than angels in america and it, you know it's it's, it's multi-generational which mm -hmm. is what's so cool about it um what, what kind of things are you hearing from audiences about sort of the reaction that they're having to to this piece <sighs> powerful i mean yeah. every night um uh, powerful is the only word that i can yeah. describe this one man stopped um you know, we go out at the end and we're talking to people who are sort of like waiting by the stage door. And mm -hmm. this one man came up to me and he, you know, he said he had flown in from San Francisco just to see the show. And he just grabbed, you know, my hand and just looked at me and said, thank you so much. Thank you so much. This is, this is my life. You know, mm -hmm. this was literally my life. And he was, an, you know, an older gentleman. And, and he said, can you, can you tell me how I can write a letter to Matthew? I wow. need to thank him mm -hmm. for writing this. And, yeah. and you know, I have, um, I have two older um, gay men in my life who, you know, have been around my life since I was younger. Yeah. My very first acting teacher and my very first tap teacher. Oh, wow. You know, I was in six, and, they're, and they're a couple, and they run this um, school in, in New Jersey, Center Stage. Uh -huh. um, and um, I sat down with, with them for dinner after they, after they saw the first part, and... And they just said, you know, for them, this play felt in many ways more immediate than mm -hmm. Angels in America yeah. because um, because it dealt with like like the the personal, like the mm -hmm. interpersonal, like these yes. interpersonal relationships. And they said this play for them was about healing, you know. Mm -hmm. And yes. they're you know and they're yeah. older, you know, gay men who lived yeah. through you know the epidemic yeah. and lived in New York City, mm -hmm. and they said the thing about angels it was like you were still in the middle of it, like angels happened in right. the middle of it, and yeah. like this has given us some time. Mm. So this play is really about healing for them, mm. and and they felt like walking out of the theater, this sense of of healing, a sense of having pro being able to process what had happened to them and to their community at the time, and, and it's powerful to feel that. I mean, it makes me feel like an artist that you know a little bit more responsibility yeah, to go yeah, out there yeah. every night sure. and to be even more authentic, to be even more true, to tell the story with more you know, uh, like vigor, and like it just feels like it feels like you know. That, that's that's the experience, you know, walking away from it every mm -hmm. night is people are healing, people yeah. are processing. Yeah. 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 What's the best place to eat between parts one and two? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I feel like there should be like a okay. theme. There that should is be is like a, a theme to restaurant yes. where everyone can just Ooh. talk. Yeah. 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 In part one, you need to talk. You need to like they should yeah. have like a, like a therapy restaurant dinner or something. Right, like they should like, offer a discount. Right, they should. <laughs> group dinners at the Glass House. At the Glass House. Well, that's the always a good. Yeah. yeah, that's the after post yeah. show. But I will say I is is pretty far, so maybe not the best place, but one of my favorite places is Five Guys. I oh, sometimes, sometimes yeah, I, have have I have to have a burger. I have to have a burger and some fries. You mean the bag of the greasy fries? Yes. Okay. Oh. All right, that's how you roll. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I usually bring food, so I, I like mm -hmm. to like eat and take a nap between parts. Yeah. But um, we actually we're not buddies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're yeah. working hard. Yeah. Um, I have a question for you. So uh, oh. Jamie Lawson was here, Ooh, um, yes, and yes, she yes. was part of your Juilliard class, she and was. now she's in for Colored Girls. What considered suicide when the rainbow is enough. Lady like Red, killing it. Oh. Um, she was here, and she told me, you guys were both in <laughs> Group 48. Uh-huh. And she told me a little story that that everyone in Group 48 was going to get a 48 tattoo, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that you're the only one who actually did it. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. It sounds, it's so a DJ move. <laughs> it's a DJ move. I mean, I'll be, in, in, in all fairness, it was my plan. And everyone, okay. at the, and I think we were all drunk at okay. the time. <laughs> um, and so I did get it. Uh, I got it, I think, during spring break of my last semester, of the final spring semester. And when I got it, my friend was like, are you really going? And I was like, okay, 
now the full story is like yes it's it's to commemorate the group and like uh -huh. you know all of the greatness of Julia but it was really for me like I realized getting to the end of this journey spending eight straight years in college wow. mm -hmm. and I was oh just like God. I know I know to go to undergrad Temple University <laughs> okay. in Philly um, and yeah it was just a lot and I was like oh there's been so many mountains so yeah. many valleys so many everything that I've crossed to get here that this is more of course it's about my group and, and, and uh -huh. the legacy of Julia but it was more about like this is the almost kind of coming of age yeah, you know yeah. the, like the, like the coming it. out of this and I was like this is to remind me of all of the pain it took to get mm -hmm. this so I know whatever comes next I'll be ready for it you mm -hmm. know and so yeah where is it it's right here on my pinky it's so cute oh, you wouldn't yeah. even notice it you wouldn't even <laughs> oh, there notice it, is. it. Okay. Yeah. yeah that's cute oh, okay. you ever you see me do a little kisses kiss, you know <laughs> yes you know Hey, Caitlin, yes. what are the people online asking? Yes. So Janie wants to know what is backstage like with that? With not such Jamie a, Lawson. Oh, not, not Jamie Lawson. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Oh, I forgot it. Clarifier. <laughs> not that. Uh, what's it like backstage with this big of a cast? And how does everybody get along? And what's the backstage vibe like? I it, think... Go ahead. You go. <laughs> I was like... I think... <laughs> <laughs> we do that a lot. <laughs> I mean, it's. I mean, we have a good time. We I mean, do. right before the show, we're blasting music. We share a dressing mm -hmm. room as well okay. Okay. with our with our other castmate Dylan, who plays young Walter, uh -huh. um, and young man. I don't know number mm -hmm. which number. Um, <laughs> I confused all the Four. numbers of the time. Right. Yeah, sorry, Jonathan. Yeah, so um, we play music backstage, mm -hmm. and we're always like you know cracking jokes and yeah. and um, like between shows, it's quiet. Between shows where everyone's really respectful and does yeah. their own thing, you know, nap time, shower yeah. time, like right. everyone goes into their own corner. But right before a show, we're, you know, playing music and getting hype for the for yeah. the run. I think that was one of the beautiful things about the rehearsal process mm -hmm. um, that Stephen really instilled in us was the sense of play. Stephen Daldry, by the way. Stephen yeah. Daldry. Super fancy to brilliant. 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 Yes. amazing work. It's like oh, so sad was it amazing. not yes. there anymore. It's like... Oh, yeah. well, he's always here. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> like, it was really... It was like arriving to the theater yesterday was the first time, yeah. you know, since we... After opening. You know, after opening. Uh -huh. and, and I arrived and... Steven wasn't there and Justin wasn't there and I was like, what do you do? The parents have yeah. left, you know? It'll be fine. Yeah, yeah it'll be good. fine. Yeah. So what were you going to say? I was just saying like they instilled in, in us such a sense of play and, uh -huh. and, mm. and directed us in such a way that we are so relying on each other mm, yeah. to do the play and I think that carries over into the warm up, into the warm down, everything that we do. We always play like a little game as oh, yeah. a group together, um, and it's and it's just it just gets us in tune to being like, oh okay, mm -hmm. I say, I'm I'm gonna make sure I call on you because I know where your head is, and I'm gonna make yeah. sure you're we're all up to speed. Mm -hmm, you know what yeah. I mean? And we just like and it and like other processes, especially in graduate school, like sometimes it feels daunting. There's not a daunting bone in in my mm -hmm. body for this. It's like mm -hmm. every time it's fun, it it's light, fun. and it's like. They lift me up. Like, if something slips my mind, he has my back, vice mm -hmm. versa. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, we're just so in tune with each other. And I think that's a direct, I mean, casting. Thank you, Heidi and Jordan. But, like, it's also yeah. to who we are and how we were directed. And this piece. Like, this piece is just so yeah. community. It's part you know? of the joy of it, the way that Matthew wrote how all yeah. the characters, just how it starts and how you guys mm -hmm. all bounce off each other throughout mm -hmm. the show. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it makes every one of your performances so memorable. Mm -hmm. Like, I just feel like every one of them is just etched in my... In my heart. Aww, <laughs> yes. Yes. So kind of going off of that, Mark wants to know, how did you guys approach and kind of prepare for a show where it's two full different plays, parts one and two, and remembering mm -hmm. which day you're doing which play? <laughs> and... Okay, so full <laughs> disclosure. I have to. I have to. Okay. It was really funny, like, you know, the traditional... <laughs> play process is you arrive on that first day and you do the meet and greet and there's the like rousing speech mm -hmm. and then you sit around the table and you read the play and then mm -hmm. you spend about like a week you know doing table work okay. that was not this process at all okay. it was like we met and you know some people were missing because they had you know previous in job right. engagements and mm -hmm. and then you know we you know they gave a speech and then it was cool and justin went great 
Um, so you're sitting there and you're sitting there and you're gonna yeah. sit here and on this side you're gonna cross around here and you're gonna and all of us have our giant binder and we're like wait well I'm crossing on what line wait wait well, you know because they you know I thought and I how, mean, who is Justin Justin is the is the associate director on the okay. show so he cool. works with Stephen Daldry right, and Stephen and Justin were both like yeah we're gonna move here move here and because they have you it's know, a they, lot of they had a lot yeah yeah and because mm -hmm. if you think about it it's two three and a half hour plays that the amount of time really is like you don't have as much luxury, you know, mm -hmm. in time yeah. to like do all this. So it was really quick. And then they'd be like, okay, cool, we got that scene. Okay, great, cool. Let's jump to part two. Oh, and oh so we my would jump to part that. two. And so we were rehearsing, oh, we were yes. rehearsing both simultaneously. It wasn't oh, like, okay, now we got part one. Now we're gonna go to part two. It was like, it was cool, like we're gonna, we're gonna hit this first half of the scene in part one, <laughs> and, then and then we're gonna go, jump to the very end of part two. And then, we'll and then we're gonna go back to the thing you did that morning. <laughs> do you remember it? Oh, you don't. Okay, so instead we're gonna go to the third scene that right. we haven't touched yet. Right. Oh yes. But it was like the beautiful thing about it was is it kept everyone on their toes. Mm -hmm. A little manic, but mm -hmm. but but it also forced I mean it definitely forced me to like memorize quicker. Oh it was goodness. like Two, okay, cool, I got my days. lines. Yeah. It was like I got I think my we lines did our because first run of part one in ten days. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Because you're juggling props, and you can't be juggling the props mm -hmm. and this big binder, mm -hmm. so you're having to like. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it was. It, they kept us on our toes. It feels like you guys have been doing it for many, many months. I mean, mm -hmm. it, the chemistry is just—it's all there. It's great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but you, and we actually started part one first, right? And then you introduced part two. Yeah. In, the mm -hmm. in terms of previews, right. yeah, 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 yeah. We teched and then put up part one. Kept teching part one, but really started teching part two as soon as we opened it. So I think it was like the second week we start, introduced part two. Yeah. After, the, after a week wow. of part one. Yeah, 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 wow. yeah. yeah. Cool. Wow. Amazing. We do one last question. And Ethan wants to know what has been the most surprising thing about this process for you guys so far? Hmm. Oh. What, what's the most surprising for me? Not surprising in a sense of like I wasn't expecting this, but mm -hmm. it, it was a pleasant surprise that I, you know, you know, everyone asks, like, how do you make it through this play? Like, we as an audience member get to watch this amazing story, but mm -hmm. you as an actor have been doing this every night. How do you make it through? And I tell them every night, Lois Smith. Paul I was Hilton. gonna say the same thing. And like thing. Every, every night watching Paul Hilton do his thing on stage, I'm just like, every night something new. Every night I'm like, that's that's a it's same with B, uh, John Benjamin Hickey. Like mm. these are veteran. I mean everyone, but like those in particular, like, these are vets. Like these they. When you know guys are all observing doing. each other a lot in oh the show my too. Goodness, yeah. yeah, and like to just sit and watch Paul do his thing, I'm just like. Every night I'm just that like, monologue? oh my goodness. The first day he joined us, oh. I mean, he joined us a little later in the process um, because he came from London. Right. Mm -hmm. And the day that he came into first, I just did it all. We were like, it's what? Yes, yes, I know, I can't. Yes. If I think about it, I'll start crying. I mean, the day, the first day we saw Lois oh, Smith stop. do her scenes, stop. because, you know, we were really <laughs> we rehearsing were separate. We were inconsolable. Yeah. 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 I mean, the last, the last day we did, we did uh, the full run in the room. And I almost wanted to excuse myself at the end of part one before, I'm not gonna give anything away, but yeah. there was a, a, such a huge emotional mm -hmm. rupture in yeah. me that I almost had to leave the room because I was sobbing in the back. Mm -hmm. Well, I was like, I got lines that I still have to do, but yeah. I almost could not do it because just the magic and majesty yeah. of yeah. those. Yeah. 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 Those yeah. amazing actors. So that's been pleasantly surprising for me. I'm like, every night I'm learning something new. Every night I'm just like, yep, I'm taking that. Yep. Like, yeah. literally, literally last night, Paul did something. I was like, I'm using that in my scene in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and I did, you know? Yeah. yeah. He's, yeah. Lois Smith is, is 89 years old. 89 oh, years old. You guys I mean, celebrated her 89th yes, birthday. Yeah, really she, I mean, I mean, did. that, I mean, I, I want to be her when I grow up, like literally, like mm -hmm. she's so sharp, she's so witty, uh, yes. and she never, she doesn't miss a beat, she yeah. does not miss mm -hmm. a beat, she's on it all the time, and yeah, seeing her do her thing for the very first time, it was yeah. like uncontrollable, yeah. you know, emotion from everyone. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. Go see The Inheritance, everybody. Yes, please come. At the Barrymore Theater. Yes. You could see it all in one day, which I highly recommend. Mm -hmm. Or you can break it up. You can do yeah. it Thursday and a Friday. Yeah. Uh, but um, Daryl, Arturo, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for having uh, us. Of course. Uh, hey, Caitlin, why don't you take us out? Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We are live at five every single weekday here on Facebook. You can listen to us wherever you get your podcast by searching for hashtag live at five and hitting that subscribe button. Be sure to tune in tomorrow. Talk to Daniel J. Watts of Tina.